Are you planning to come here in Canada as a tourist visa nowadays? Today is November 7, 2024. There is an IRCC update. Multiple entry visas valid for 10 years or until passport expiry date are no longer the default. New guidance outlines factors determining issuance of single versus multiple entry visas and their validity period. As usual, these are the factors in applying for tourist visa in Canada, purpose of visit, funds, medical, and other factors. Purpose of visit. Is the applicant coming for a one-time event, such as conference, training session, or tourism, or they will be returning to Canada on a regular basis, such as to visit close family members? Are they a permit-exempt short-term student or worker? Do they require parent authorization to travel for each visit, for example, as an unaccompanied minor coming for a summer program? And is the visit for for the compassionate purposes, such as to care for a family member who is critically ill or dying. Funds. Does the applicant have a stable ongoing source of funds, such as employment, that would be sufficient to finance multiple visits to Canada? If the host, family, or friend in Canada will cover the applicant's expenses, is proof of relationship provided, and is the host well-established in Canada? Has the host also invited other people? Do they have sufficient resources to provide for all invited individuals for multiple visits? Will the funds be provided by the applicant's employer, such as for a one-time conference or business meeting? Has the employer submitted a letter attesting to this fact? Medical. Has the applicant indicated any health conditions that they may worsen over time? Is the applicant coming for a medical treatment? Has the client provided a mitigation plan such as proof of health insurance? If so, how long is it valid for? And the last one, other factors. Has the applicant demonstrated strong ties to their home country, such as employment or family obligation? Has the applicant traveled outside their home country? Have they previously traveled to Canada? If so, they, did they comply with the terms and conditions of their visa? Was the applicant previously refused a visa for Canada or any other country? Those are the guidelines in order for you to understand when you apply for tourist visa application in Canada. Those are the rules. Those are in the book or in the immigration law. However, this is what I can advise you. If you have family or friends, relatives who wants to give you that sponsorship, provide their fundings or bank statement or even the notice of assessment and a letter of support, and accompanied by their status here in Canada, like passport or permanent residency status, then that will gonna be the strongest application that you could ever have. It is very important if you have a friend or if you have a relative who's trying to give you that support. And also if you don't have those, then might as well make sure that you have a job back in your home country and also a fund that you can be able to spend inside Canada when you are traveling as a tourist visa holder. Everyone, I still don't want you to close the door in applying coming to Canada as a tourist visa applicant. It is worth trying. Immigration officials will now use their discretion to decide what type of entry and visa's duration for you as a foreign national. The previous policy allowed travelers holding multiple entry visas to visit Canada as frequently as needed during the visa's validity period. However, the updated guidance clarifies that visa with the maximum validity will no longer be the default.
Instead, immigration officials will use their discretion to decide the type of entry and the visa duration. According to a statement by the Canadian Immigration Department, officials now have more autonomy in determining those factors. For those foreign nationals who are holding a 10-year valid visa, don't worry, that's not going to be cancelled. Just maintain your status if you are inside Canada. And if you're coming and you already have the visa coming out, uh, coming inside Canada, don't worry. You're still welcome to come to Canada. This is applicable for every foreign national who wants to apply a new temporary resident permit visa. Who cares about the single, multiple, 10 years validity, everyone? We only need that one-time entry. And once you are inside, you could be able to find another way of getting into that work permit, sponsorship, or permanent residency application. There are tons of immigration program in Canada, so we are just talking about tourist visa. So if you need my consultation, I'm here, everyone. I am your licensed immigration consultant. Don't worry. Be happy. I'm here to give you a non-sugar-coated immigration advice. God bless everyone. Are you planning to come here in Canada as a tourist visa nowadays? 